Hey, what's up, YouTube? Well, today's my iPhone 5 review. You saw my last one. It didn't come out how I expected it. I mean, the name, so. As you can see, I got the new iPhone 5. With its five rows of icons in the back. Let's see. Let me go over specs. It has a dual core process, uh, an A6, a dual core processor with one gig of RAM and Gosh, one gigahertz is what I meant. Um, I have the 64. If they have 16 for 200, 32 for 300, and 64 for 400, which I have. The battery life has been increased. I think video is now 10 hours. Now it has LTE browsing, so it's a lot faster data speeds. What else was new? Oh yeah, the new lightning connector. There's the, let's see, they move the head jack to the bottom, there's the new earphones. But yeah, let me show you, like, let's see. <laughs> this is just kind of part two. Let's look at, um, let's just watch how fast it loads Temple up. See how it fits the new screen? And the color is supposed to be a lot better on this iPhone. But yeah, see, I mean, all the apps have been updated for this big new screen. Let's see, um, I'll show you an app that's not updated. Let's do like, what's an easy one we could spot? Um, I'll do, I'll just do Target. Oh, it has been updated. I forgot about Target. Gosh, let's do break. See? Can't see it, but as you can see, yeah, it doesn't fit the screen. See? Kind of that black. Yeah, that's what I mean. Some apps aren't fully fit. So, yeah. That's just pretty much my part two. So, thank you guys. And bye.